Tuesday, January 10th. And it's gonna be an exciting day today. So that'll be fun to bring you guys along. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself awake and we're gonna start the day. <laughs> so, Sam. how beautiful this cup of coffee is. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very, very exciting day. So I'm currently at my desk now and I'm gonna ice roll my face a little bit, kind of depuff and wake up and I am going to explain to you why oops, my out of the way. I'm gonna explain to you why today is such a good day so it is January 10th January 9th yesterday was my due date I am full term in my pregnancy and my due date was scheduled yesterday today is going to be a final prep with me before the baby. I kind of slacked a little bit, I'm just gonna say. I ended up not finishing Vlogmas and I don't regret it at first. I was really sad and I really wanted to do all 25 days leading up to Christmas but towards the end it got very very hard for two reasons one we were super busy with family time and prepare like preparing for Christmas itself but then I got like very just sluggish and lethargic and I just didn't have a ton of energy so the energy I did have I spent putting that towards family friends Jackson my dogs and just preparing to be a mom but I feel really good now it was almost like as soon as Christmas Day came I think it was just like an adrenaline and I was excited for the holiday and everything that had you know to do with the holiday and then I felt great and then I decided after Christmas to take a little breather give myself you know a little bit of a vacation if you will from editing and all of that but you guys if you followed my channel you also know I do videography and the wedding season this past fall was so crazy busy I had almost 20 weddings in just a matter of like a couple of months so my editing queue on that has been really really busy and that actually has made my YouTube videos take a seat on the back burner because those are top priorities so I have been editing and I've been putting videos up but they have been wedding videos not YouTube videos so all of that being said I posted a Instagram story basically having you guys just ask me questions about my pregnancy pertaining to my pregnancy how I've been feeling all of that stuff and I got several several requests and questions if I was going to do any more videos before baby and that is what today is gonna be so today is going to be a prepping with me for like last minute stuff I I do have a little bit of work I need to do this morning, so that's why I'm in my office. I have my laptop pulled up, and I'm going to be doing some emails and just preparing for things before I basically leave for maternity. 
and then I'm also going to be you know doing some last minute cleaning for the house I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon just like fun last minute stuff and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along on the last day before we're parents. So Jackson's also taking a half day today. We're gonna be dropping the dogs off at a dog setter, all of that. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm gonna stop rambling because it's been almost five minutes now. I am going to continue to ice roll my face. I'm gonna hop on a quick team call and then I will catch up with you guys here in a little bit. I just made myself this simple breakfast, nothing crazy. Just sourdough toast, provolone cheese, eggs, and a little bit of mayonnaise. It's 10 now, so I'm going to eat this. I've been chugging my water, and I think I'm going to put on, also, this is a baby toy. I keep having to take this away from this one because she thinks it's hers. So that's why that's sitting up there. But anyway, I think I'm going to turn on like a little... I think I'm gonna turn on like a little YouTube video or something and watch it and continue to work, eat my breakfast. Yeah, having such a good morning so far. Okay, I decided I'm gonna do a light face of makeup. A ton of stuff in this bag because if I go into labor, <laughs> I wanted to be ready. All right, I just did a light face of makeup. I wasn't going to. Because I really want to get a spray tan this evening. I know I'm a psycho and people are gonna be like why are you getting a spray tan when you're getting induced? Um, I want one because I Feel the best when I'm tan and I don't want to do it myself and it's not gonna hurt anything. So Anyway, I want to get a spray tan tonight. I have a little less or a little over an hour to get ready and I thought it'd be fun to go over what's in my hospital bag, what I'm bringing with me, and just like double check, make sure I have everything. I have had this packed for a couple weeks now, but I think I wanna go back over some stuff and possibly add some things because I feel like I might, I just might want to. So I wanna make sure I have everything. Plus, this is just like my hospital bag. This isn't the baby stuff. And it's not anything that involves Jackson or anything like that. So, I'm gonna go through here. Make sure I have everything. I got my hospital bag from Amazon. It's just this brown little duffel. Um, Juan hoax I think is the brand I don't know I think it's super cute and simple and I'm like super into chocolate brown so love it and there's a bunch of like little zippers and straps this is for like your suitcase handle if you know what I'm talking about kind of like the base dupe not really a dupe but anyway whatever got it off Amazon I'll try to link it below if you guys want to grab it and inside I have, let me grab, let me show ya. Inside I have an extra charger. We have, I think, three chargers combined. Jackson has some longer cord chargers in his bag. I have some clips, because I love putting my hair in clips. My hair's in a clip right now, actually. I have some snacks in here. Most of my snacks, though, are in his bag, but there's some in there just in case. And then everything else is kind of pulled out right now. So let me show you what I've got so far. I'm bringing several pairs of just like Nike mid-length socks. These are my favorite. And I got a bunch of new pairs for Christmas. So I have those. This is my Hakka, which is for breastfeeding. Gotta have this. I probably won't need this because I know that the hospital supplies one, but I'm going to bring it just in case. I have some reusable nursing pads. I bought two boxes of them. And these things, for what they are, are kind of expensive, but I am definitely going to need them, so have those. I have these letters in this board 
for our announcement. It's basically just going to spell out Baby Nikolai. And I have a little mini mirror. Hello. I know I'm probably going to want to do my makeup and stuff for photos. I have these little mini bags here. I actually have another one. Hi. I have another one in this. I have another one here that I think I'm going to bring. And I'm just going to put like little feminine care products. I think this one, let me see. This one has some like milk supply powder. It has some witch hazel wipes, stuff like that. Then I'll probably put some like makeup and stuff in this one and bring. I have these little hard bottom slippers. I love them. They're super comfortable and they're cute. So I'm going to be wearing these around the hospital. I have two bras. These are my Skims bras. I'm bringing both of them. I'm obsessed with them. And they're not considered nursing bras, but I love them. They're the most comfortable material. They're supportive. They're flattering. They're Skims. I love them. So, bringing those. I'm bringing several pairs of my Calvins. These are just the regular underwear because when you have a baby, you have to like wear pads and stuff, which is not fun, but you can't wear a thong. So these I'm bringing along with this little guy if I need it. I don't know if I will, but it's basically like a big cover that you can put over your car seat for warmth for the baby or I can put it over us if I'm nursing so my boobs aren't out and about. So bringing that. And as for clothes for me, I'm just bringing a couple options. This is just a black oversized silky shirt and it's shorter sleeved. I love silk and it being a dark color is probably just my best option in case I were to bleed or whatever on it. But I ended up getting this off of Amazon and I think it's just going to be super comfortable. It hits like right above the knees so it's kind of like just a little gown, like a sleeping gown. But I figure this will be pretty for pictures also after baby. So bringing that and then I'm bringing two different changes of clothes. I'm guessing I'm probably going to be in a hospital gown for the most part but for coming home or if we have guests I'm bringing two options. So this is that what is it? The Haley dupe from Urban Outfitters. Super comfortable and everybody raves on about this on TikTok so I ended up getting it in this oatmeal color and then I bought this set off of Amazon I think and it's just like a black warm set so I'll probably like I said wear one of these home and the other will probably just be a backup honestly because I, I almost bet that I just wear a hospital gown in this black thing most of the time while I'm in the hospital. And then lastly I'm bringing this Barefoot Dreams dupe blanket. I love this blanket. I actually got it for Christmas. It's off of Amazon. I'll try to try to link it below but I'm loving this blanket. It's so soft and yeah I have to bring it. I'm also going to bring this one because you guys know I have these blankets all over the house. I'm going to bring this one as well for Jackson. That way we both have one. I'm sure the hospital will supply plenty of blankets, but I personally sleep with mine every single night, so I'm going to bring it regardless if they bring give me blankets. And then I'm going to bring this one for him just because I know it's going to be cold and I don't want him to get chilly. So that's what's going to go in my bag on top of... I want to bring my straightener, which I'm going to style my hair and stuff tomorrow, so I'm not going to pack this stuff yet, but I'm going to leave it out because I'm going to want it. I'm also going to pack all of this stuff, my makeup bag, dry shampoo, brush, Vaseline, because my lips are so dry, and then just like Dermaplast, these little feminine wipes. Um, my straightener, stuff like that. 
I'm not gonna pack this stuff until probably tomorrow because I'm gonna use it. But this is also going to go in my bag. And I wanna say that's it. I don't, oop, Jackson's calling. Hello. Okay, Jackson just texted me and asked if I would want anything from table 33 for lunch. It's like a new restaurant here. So I'm gonna look at their menu really quick and see. Also, you guys, I got my nails done. I got like the pearl chrome, I think. I wanted them to be a little bit more neutral, like a nude with chrome, but they turned out pretty cute. So, there they are, and I feel good. I feel like once I get my spray tan, I'm going to like be ready to get after it, and like that's... Honestly, like that's all I want is just to like go in and feel good because when you feel good You do good and when you do good What's that saying? I don't know doesn't matter. I just want to feel good and I feel my best when I'm tan and like when my nails are done So love that for me But I need to focus actually I need to look at this menu and focus <sighs> Shoot, okay, okay, okay Okay, so I think other than my makeup bag, this is everything. So I'm going to put everything in the bag. Hopefully it all fits. And then I'll feel a lot better about everything. I also have the diaper bag and the... diaper bag in Jackson's bag already in the car so that's good and then I think I'm gonna make sure we take all of this tonight just in case I don't think anything's gonna happen because I'm not dilated or anything at this point and I feel completely fine like I don't even feel like I'm close to being in labor. So I don't think they have any reason to keep me. But I do want to have my stuff just in case if something were to happen. So I'm going to bring all of this with us. And call it good. <clears throat> I'll call you back. I got you. I got you. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them a call and see where they're at. What? All right. Thanks. Bye. What? Her. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice job. Come here. Just dogs. They're just dogs. <laughs> I just dropped my children off at a random stranger's house. They're gonna have another child. That's sad to me. But if you've ever used the Rover app, I highly suggest. Well, I mean, like, I think I suggest it. I'll, I'll update in a couple of days, I guess. I, oh yeah, I don't even think I told you. I'm videoing today and tomorrow. So I kind of figured since the camera Well, like tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow I'm starting our, the actual birth vlog. Oh, I apologize if you see something in my teeth. I can't get it out from lunch. It's driving me insane. So don't judge me. Don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> I, um... 
put a video up today. It was our last Vlogmas video because I, it's like what, July or January 10th? And you're just now putting your the last one up? Yeah, because I was slacking. Well, I had to like worry about my wedding, some of the wedding videos that I had to get up first. Oh yeah. But anyway, the reason I turned on the, the camera mm -hmm. in the first place is because I know that a lot of people that watch my videos know my obsession with Nala. And they know you guys also have dogs um, and probably can relate. I feel like I, I don't relate to most people no. when it comes to my dogs. Not at all. There's a couple of my girlfriends on here that are the same way. So, the reason I'm saying this. When we moved to the lake, we didn't know anybody. Like, you lived here a little longer than me, but like, we don't we don't know very many people that live here full time, like year round. So with that being said, what, we didn't know anybody to watch my dogs, our dogs. Um, when we, we knew people, but we just didn't really trust them that much, just because they're, well, they're like, busy, they have busy lives. And yeah, it's... well okay, our options were, one, board them at the vet clinic, and it was gonna cost me like $500, just for like a couple of days, and I really didn't know how that would be. Like, is it gonna be worth $500? Are they gonna let them out? Are they gonna play with them? Stuff like that. Or we could uh, leave them with family or friends. But the problem with that was we're not telling people when we're going to be induced mm -hmm. because we know that it's gonna be a long process and we just don't wanna be hounded. Sorry, mom. Sorry, Leah. I'm not sorry, Leah. But we, just we want to get in, admitted into the hospital and like get comfortable and like get through the hard part the labor part before we start getting tons of questions so bombarded we, by our family we knew that if we uh, had family watch the dogs that it would raise question so my best friend you guys love her when she's in my, in my videos megan klein she's probably watching this right now and just Feels like dang so, shout out so popular oh yeah <laughs> i love her but anyway i was going to have her watch them because she knows like she knows that we're, i'm getting induced but she lives in the opposite direction like an extra hour mm -hmm. so that was out of the picture but she introduced me to this app called the rover app and she actually dog sits and uses this app to get clients. So I got on there and I found the sweetest lady. She was so sweet. Mm -hmm. She was. Agree. Yeah, yeah. So I found her and just she's going to be watching them for like the next couple of days. Probably two days tops. And Three days. Well, we'll have family come and get them. Oh. After. Friday? So, probably. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so today is Tuesday. We, I wasn't going to drop them off until tomorrow, but we kind of have to because, um, her work schedule, she mm -hmm. has to go into work tomorrow morning. So we're empty nesters for the night. Yeah, I'm actually very sad. I'm like keeping it together pretty good, but I'm sad. I was kind of so excited about it. Well, no, because I, another thing that popped up. You have to go to Chicago tonight. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so I don't even get to, yeah. So, Jackson has to do like a last swoop for work. <clears throat> and you have to drive to Chicago tonight for um, windows? Yeah, to go pick up some windows for one of my customers. So, that's six and a half hours there, six and a half hours back. And we induce at six tomorrow night. So gonna be a very busy evening slash morning for me tomorrow. Yeah, you're not even gonna be able to sleep. And then we're gonna go straight into a hospital. Yeah. Which nobody sleeps at a hospital. So that's what's going on. Oh. That's a little life update. We're not stressing about it. I'm trying to decide if I want to go or not I don't necessarily think I should go because of the drive and like I also need sleep because it's gonna be an all-nighter like we're no matter what it'll be an all-nighter but oh yeah um 
I also don't want you to get by yourself. My next question is, she's already sent me pictures, I think. She said we're already making friends. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. That's I think cool. she has three dogs. Something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, three dogs and a cat. One's a boxer, one's a chihuahua, and then I can't remember what the other one is. <gasps> um. Oh, I already feel like I'm, I'm like this girl. Like, thank you. Thank you, lady. Um, sorry, my next question was, uh, if you drop these windows off tomorrow morning, so you get back. I'm going home to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to the office tomorrow at all. Yeah. Well, that's the plus. Yeah. So I'll get to sleep for a couple hours. Maybe. At that point, I may be too excited, slash anxious, slash nervous, to be able to sleep. But we'll see. You will? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> this is a long clip. Um, we're going to my last doctor's appointment. I don't think it's going to be anything exciting. Which we're going to be early for. What? We're going to be very early for this one, I think. It's at 3. It's at 3.15. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, okay. Anyway. But it's okay. We're leaving to go. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get my last appointment over and done. So hopefully she's not dilated too much yet. I don't think I am. Or else my trip to Chicago will not be happening. And then that's a scramble for me to figure out what to get done on um, the work side. <laughs> so. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Forewarning you, I look crazy right now because my spray tan is setting in. So, yeah, I'm aware I look crazy. But Jackson just left, not well, it was a little while ago because we mentioned it earlier. He is driving to Chicago tonight for some last minute things for work. So, he just left and I am getting ready for bed. I'm taking a magnesium supplement, my prenatals, all that stuff because I'm going to try and get, I'm going to chew this up first. Like I was saying, I just got done taking my supplements and I'm really going to try and get like a good, good night's sleep. I know it's going to be hard because not only is Jackson gone, but so are the girls. But hopefully, fingers crossed, I do. I look crazy. I look literally so crazy. But my spray tan is setting in and I feel so good about it. I will show you a little bump update. Looking and feeling tan. Um, TMI, but this is for the girls. Whenever I got checked at the doctor, um, she did uh, check me vaginally. So I am dilated at a one, which is literally nothing, but it's progression. So I haven't been dilated at all until today. So when she checked me, I was at a one. 
and whenever we got home I did have like slight bleeding which is very normal so I put on a pad and all that but I've had like little a little cramping but nothing crazy feel really good and all is well in the world I am going to crawl into bed here I'm gonna brush my teeth here in just a second and then crawl into bed and watch the Sweet Home Alabama movie it's my favorite movie of all time and then just kind of relax for a little bit and I'll probably call Jackson before I go to bed also because he's gonna be driving and you know just to help him stay awake I am nervous for him to make this drive, but he definitely is somebody that can handle long drives and he can pull all nighters and stuff, whereas I can't. So I'm sure he'll be fine. He just told me he's on the phone with his dad right now. So they're chatting and yeah, he's having a pretty good trip so far, I think. So I'll call him here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's that on that. I will film tomorrow, of course, but I'm not getting induced until tomorrow night. We go in at six. So I have the whole day to just relax. And since the girls aren't here, they normally wake up really early to go potty. So since they're not here, I'm hoping I'm able to sleep in. I don't think I'm gonna sleep the best because Jackson and the girls are both gonna be gone. And I just don't. Like, I wake up several times through the night whenever they're all gone. But I'm hoping I'm able to sleep. And I'm hoping I can sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Have just, like, a really slow, easy morning. And then, you know, make sure all my last-minute packing is good. I'm going to shower off all of this. Not all of it. I'm going to shower off this spray tan. And also with something else mm. oh I have some like last minute things I want to do around the house like cleaning stuff so tomorrow I am not working I'm just gonna be like spending the day relaxing and prepping and then we will head to the hospital and be induced at six so I'm super excited about that um, like I said I'm planning on filming all of that so you guys will get to see all of that footage soon um, but yeah, I'm just feeling really grateful and so, so, so excited. So I am going to uh, wrap up this video now. If you guys enjoyed, you should definitely subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I'm so excited for this journey. I cannot wait to be a mom. I can't wait to see Jackson be a dad. And I am going to try and take you guys along as much as possible not only for you guys to like witness it and see it but also for like memories for us and I just I'm so excited so anyway I'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> I'm gonna get ready for bed thank you guys for watching I love you so much and I will see you really soon in my next video which is gonna be me giving birth okay bye